if you analyze Srila Prabhupada's teachings, you'll see that he, uh, at least it seems to me that Prabhupada puts at least as much emphasis on hearing as he does on chanting. Hmm. But, but we're known as the Hare Krishna movement, chanting. We're known for our chanting, not for our hearing. <laughs> but, of course, without, without hearing, then we, we won't chant. Uh, one time, Srila Prabhupada said that, he said, actually, chanting is all you need. Uh, you don't need all these books. And then so, so somebody naturally said, well, <laughs> why, why do you say that? Why do you say we don't need all these books? Prabhupada said, chanting's enough. But then somebody said, okay, well, why, why do we have the books then? And this happened on a couple of occasions. So I'll tell you what Prabhupada said on each of those occasions. Uh, one time he said, because the Fools and rascals want philosophy. <laughs> of course, those fools and rascals, they're us, you know, because even devotees don't read the books, but they, they have a tendency to always want to reason for something. Hmm. So to want to reason for something, that's philosophy, right? So actually, just like, the, you know, the senses have to be engaged. Uh, so the mind and intelligence also has to be engaged, and the intelligence has to be engaged in understanding philosophy.